Nobody cares. Absolutely nobody is interested in whether you are writing in a coffee shop, dreaming, journaling, thinking about your diary for the next few days, or just making a list of shopping items that you need to pick up from the supermarket tomorrow. I want to share this because several people responded to me publicly and also privately with messages saying that writing in a coffee shop was too scary for them, that they felt too self-conscious to do so, even though they want to, or that they were worried what other people might think of them. Seriously, if you want to develop your writing, whether it is as a hobbyist, whether it is as somebody creating information and content for books or newsletters or content for blog articles or in-house magazines, sit in a coffee shop and write. Use the opportunity for half an hour or an hour to take a wireless keyboard or a journal and a pen and paper much like these sorts of pocket notebooks that I use all the time, field notes or moleskins. These are two different versions of pretty much the same document. And write or sit in a coffee shop and read. This is a, a great book, Charles Bukowski, on writing. I'm a third of the way through it at the moment and I'll be doing a book review on it subsequently. I'm going to take it on the flight with me tomorrow and I've got eight hours in which to read it, make notes, get some sleep, watch a film, but think about what I might take from this Charles Bukowski book. He wrote a brilliant book, by the way, called Ham on Rye, and that's worth reading, very much so. But back to this whole idea of nobody cares whether you write in a bookshop, whether you write in the coffee shop within the bookshop, whether you journal or make notes inside a cafe in a marketplace or at a street cafe on the side of a pavement. I love writing in coffee shops. I find it's a great boost to my energy to get out of the house, to come out of the study and go to a different place where either nobody knows me or somebody knows me because I've been there before and I've bought coffee. You could sit there and read a newspaper. Do you feel self-conscious doing that? You could sit there with a book, much like the Bukowski one on writing that I just mentioned. Nobody cares. Nobody notices what you're doing in a coffee shop. People, all of us, you and I, or rather you and I, we go to a coffee shop to drink coffee, to buy a sandwich, to eat a cake, to do the things that we want to do in a little public space where we feel comfortable, looked after, nurtured by a nice environment. Perhaps we go there because we love the cakes. One of my favourite coffee shops in Bradford is called Left Terrace. And it's a fabulous local coffee shop where I can sit and write in public. You don't have to be writing a book that's supposed to become a bestseller. I've never created a bestseller. I've, I've written several books that have sold very well, but they've been part of a package of earnings. And I was just expressing myself about a non-fiction topic or topics that I love and I'm passionate about and I really enjoy and sitting in a coffee shop and writing has served me very well as a venue. One of the things I find useful about writing in a coffee shop is that I am writing in public. Many of us want to be published, to have a book in our own name, our name on the cover, our title on the cover, maybe some artwork, but it says, this is my book, I have created something Maybe you wrote it at home, maybe you were sitting at the kitchen table. I find that a great place to write sometimes. But don't be nervous about writing in public. Embrace the idea that you can go to a public place, whether you go to a dedicated coffee shop that has no other function, or you go to the cafeteria within a museum or a library space, or an airport, which I'll be doing tomorrow, you grab your notebook, Grab your pen and get those ideas down on paper or add them to a screen using a digital keyboard and make your words count. The comments that I'm responding to now came from a little video I did a few weeks ago called 
nine productivity tips for writing in coffee shops. I was just sharing about being prepared, going along with an idea, giving yourself um, a time frame so that you write to a specific 40 minutes or an hour timetable and organizing your thoughts a little bit before you go if you feel you can or taking the time to journal about what you want to create when you're sitting at that coffee table and enjoying the time to yourself. One person said, I would feel too self-conscious writing in a coffee shop. Another friend responded to it and said, Nick, I went out to a coffee shop and I felt a surge of creativity to be writing in a different environment, to be writing, I think he actually said, in a new environment. Find out what it is that you can do by taking yourself from the here and now of your home environment and your home space and moving yourself to a coffee shop. Try it. It might just be great. You might absolutely love it. But also, I would say, you know, I'm getting excited about the idea of writing in coffee shops because I have found that has been a real breakthrough place for me or a breakthrough venue for me because it got me out of my head. It got me out of my being stuck writing at home or thinking about writing at home. Something that struck me very obviously last summer when I was writing and I was going to coffee shops is that if I go to a coffee shop and I spend four or five pounds on a coffee and a cake or a sandwich and a cup of tea or whatever it is, I'm actually paying to be in that environment. When I'm sitting at home, I can sit here all day and I can do nothing. I can get lost on YouTube, I can respond to a couple of messages on my phone, but I'm not paying for the privilege of doing any of that. The minute that you or I leave the house, close the front door and walk to the coffee shop or catch a bus into town or whatever it is, we are paying for our own time. So maybe that is a motivator. Get your purse out, get your wallet out and pay to sit down and journal. Pay to sit down and be productive with some pens and some notebooks and get the word count down. But be conscious that nobody gives a rip about you writing. You can sit there and write poetry or love letters or letters to friends or you can journal about what happened last night in your home situation or what's happening in your diary for this coming weekend. Nobody around you is remotely bothered. People with journals and pens in coffee shops are 10 a penny. People with wireless keyboards, iPads or big laptops, they're everywhere these days and nobody minds. If you want to feel self-conscious, ask yourself, why do you want to feel self-conscious? Would you not rather produce 500 words during a nice cup of coffee and a sandwich and go home and feel a sense of accomplishment. You put a little tick in your diary or in your agenda or in your notebook that you did some writing today. The, the only way I can really track my progress is to look at my diary, and I haven't got it on me now because it's packed and ready for my flight, but is to look at my diary for the day that has just gone past. And have I written 2C in my book, which means I've read two chapters of a book, or have I written 500 words or 1200 words to show that I've actually done some writing in my current writing project. And writing in public is just one way of you getting to grips with your commitment to your dream or your goal or your intention of putting words down and moving your writing project forward. Sorry if that's been a bit of a rant. It's not intended to be. I want to be helpful and encouraging. But don't be afraid of going to a coffee shop. And that's just a, a phrase for a public space. It could be a gallery. It could be a chair in a museum. It could be sitting on a bench in a public park outside your workplace for 30 minutes when you have a break and making some notes, typing up some ideas as they come to you or exploring pre-planned ideas and capturing words from what you have already worked out as what you want to write about today. Don't be self-conscious.
be focused on the fact that this is something you want to do and excited to act upon. So go out there and write in public. And if it means writing in a coffee shop and having a great time, just do it. We want to see the work that you're producing. We want to see the work that you are creating. And more importantly, so do you.